guys welcome back to my youtube channel if this is your first time stopping by please feel free to subscribe and join the family today i'm just going to give a summary about learning and memorizing medical terms a very easy way to do it actually i was having lots of difficulties memorizing lots of terms and there's a very common way to do it by using the suffixes and the prefixes of a term so as you know a prefix is like an attachment it's like a prefix comes before comes at the beginning of a word and the suffix comes at the end so an example of a prefix is like endo endo you know endo means in or within so for a word like endoderm it is like it just means in the skin because derm means skin so this is a very easy way for you to memorize terms and there are lots of prefixes and suffixes that you use in medical school for medical terms and it really helps like uh, suffix itis itis for appendicitis when you know this when you know itis itis means inflammation so any word that has inflammation that has itis i mean like appendicitis you know it means inflammation of the appendix or tonsillitis it means inflammation of the tonsils so this is a very easy example for you to do and there are many other suffixes and prefixes that can help you so let me give a few examples a word with oma let's say carcinoma oma o-m-a relates with tumor so when you see oma like fibroma and adenoma they are all related to tumor this is this can really help you we all know amia amia e-n-i-a like anemia so wherever you see amia at the end of a word it relates to blood i know there are lots of terms for us to memorize but instead of memorizing appendicitis hyperemia tonsillitis instead of memorizing them individually you can just know the suffix which is amia or itis or oma or oid once you know it like for hyperemia you know amia is related to blood and hyper means something that is high so hyperemia just means increased level of blood so once you know the suffix it's very easy to know what the definition to know the definition of what it's about and this is just a shortcut for you and i really hope it helps you because man we all know what medical school is like and any tricks or hacks that you have it's very good if you can all share them to help ourselves memorize easier another example is oid oid this means resembles so when you see a word like humanoid although it's not really a medical term but humanoid it just means that thing resembles a human there are so many other suffixes and prefixes that can really help you in medical school and once you know the suffix or the prefix you know its meaning already i think suffixes are more important because they usually indicate procedure disease or a disorder so you can help it will just help you define the term and this has been helping me a lot and i am grateful for my teacher for showing me this path and i said why not share it with you guys and i really hope it helps you and if it does please give this video a thumbs up and support this nation by subscribing they are just called us a nation yeah support this channel by subscribing and most especially giving it a thumbs up share this video also to your friends to help us medical students memorize more easily and make the work less for us i'm also going to leave a link in the description box about how about suffixes and prefixes where you can find a whole lot of suffixes a whole lot of these things in the link they are although it's a very very long list you can find on Wikipedia, but there are also some other websites that can give you a summary of the very common ones that you use in medical school and I hope it helps you as it has helped me so thank you guys for watching this video if you have any questions for me you can leave it in the comment section or send me an email my email will be in the description box follow me up on my social media thank you for watching this video guys and I really hope it helped you see you in my next